Hey everyone, my name is Doug and I am a student advisor here at Berkeley Online. And today we are going to do a basic audio recording tutorial. So you need a couple things for this. Uh, I've got my Mac laptop here. Uh, I've got my guitar and then I also have a Presonus audio box, which is an audio interface. It's kind of like an external sound card for your computer. Uh, basically it hooks up via USB and then I'm able to use a quarter inch cable or XLR cable and plug my instrument or microphone directly into it. So let's go ahead and do that now. I got my quarter inch from my guitar. I'm going to go right into channel one. All right. Now that we've got everything hooked up, we can run down here and launch GarageBand. So I'm going to select New Project, and we'll use the electric guitar preset to start this session. So we can name the session. Cool. So now that we've got GarageBand opened up, the first thing we're going to want to go and do is uh, check the preferences and set our audio input. So. Under Preferences, you can go to Audio MIDI, and you'll see Audio Input, and right now it's set to Built-in Microphone. But we want to change that. We want to make sure that it's uh, it's the audio box. So you click on that, and you'll see it listed right there, Audio Box 22 VSL. So we can go ahead and click that, and then yes, you do want to change the audio driver. So that'll just take a minute. Now, another thing that you might want to do, if you happen to have any speakers or headphones plugged directly into your audio interface, you're going to want to make sure that you change the output as well. Uh, and that can be done right there as well. You, know, you see the audio box shows up in that list. But we're going to go ahead and leave it on the built-in output for now. So once we have that all set, we can go over here to the amp, double click on that, and we're going to want to make sure that the input source is also set. So that's the first thing listed right here. Right now it's on mono one, and that's the correct channel. So we're plugged into channel one. We want to make sure that's set to mono one. If you happen to be using channel two, you can click the list, you'll see Mono 2 appears right there as well. Some interfaces may have more channels. Make sure you're just plugged into the right one, in this case, Mono 1. You can also turn the monitoring on if you want to hear yourself as you play and record at the same time. All right, so the next thing I'm going to want to do is make sure the metronome is turned off since I'm not really going to a, a specific tempo and I'm not playing to a backing track. So right up here under Control, you can just click on Metronome, and that way, when you're recording, you're not going to hear that clicking sound that's keeping the tempo. Once we do that, channel one is going to be this knob right down here. So we're going to want to check down at our level meter over here. And you can see that right now it's, it's right about where it should be. You're feeling two thirds up, playing normally. Leaves a little headroom in case you get a little, little heavy into it and, and you want to go for it. But if you want to adjust that volume, Hear how that does that. So once you have the level set, you're ready to record your audio. So everything's looking good here. We want to go down to record here, and then we can go ahead and hit record. Once you finish playing, you can hit spacebar to stop the track. And then if you want to listen to it back, you can just hit enter to return to the beginning, and you can hit spacebar again to listen back. And there you have it, basic audio recording. Have fun.